Welcome back to Central Valley Talk, where we come to uh, celebrate what's good about the valley, not just Fresno, but Visalia, Exeter, Farmersville, uh, one of the cities are out there that direction. Um, so many good things going on and cool people. Now, we just kind of came through uh, COVID. Some businesses survived and some didn't. I mean, what happens when the you just got to shut down? You're just getting started having a business going. You're getting it up and going. Then all of a sudden, hey, everybody close your doors. Well, we've got some survivors here uh, from Slow no, I keep saying it wrong. Soul Brewed. Soul Brewed. Soul Brewed. Yes. Mostly tea, right? All mostly tea. Yeah, mostly tea and baked goods. Tell me your names. I didn't put them so down. So I am Katrina. That's right, Katrina. And, and uh, my name's Luis. Are Great. you married? Yes. yes. That's right. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, good. Just want to make sure. <laughs> now, you guys are kind of based around where? Visalia. And you don't have a shop people walk in yet. Not not necessarily. I do have a place that I am based out of, um, at Tranquility Spa and Apothecary. Mm. Okay. It's in Exeter. Um, that's where you can find so me. So it most. is a shop where people can yeah, walk in. Yeah, I mean, you can find me there. I do my tea leaf readings there. I have my teas there, and we have various events and different goods. It's in Exeter? It's in Exeter. If you're mm -hmm. watching you've never been to Exeter, it's a great destination. They've oh, got yeah. the most beautiful murals. Oh, yeah. And I don't mean some cheap, you know, no. graffiti. Uh, really beautiful murals. They are. And it's just fun to spend time in the town. Downtown is just so beautiful, yeah. and it's booming. We've got a lot of new businesses downtown. And, and you guys, your apothecary is downtown. We're right around the corner from downtown. Right what around. goes on in that spa and apothecary? You know, we have, oh, obviously, our teas and most herbs, and I have my baked goods daily. Um, we actually have natural remedies that are is it your shop or you're in a shop so i'm in the shop okay so it's tranquility spawn apothecary and they're hosting us okay. um so they have us there and we um i kind of assist and they have a boutique um she makes a lot of um natural remedies for dry skin and beauty products and house cleaning products um, if all we're natural. doing weird things we've got to fly in the we're studio so sorry <laughs> we've got a little fly just coming uh, around now uh, but there's some shops with your teas as well yes so actually if you cannot come out to exeter we do have our teas available in portaville mm -hmm. um there is the hidden cottage um and also uh, mother earth's gems in portaville they have our teas um also if you want to have our tea freshly brewed for you we um are being served at the valley emporium in dinuba it's a yeah. um, nine allergy free bakery Danube is a cool place. It's too. A really, it's All these coming. places you mentioned are very cool. It's up and cool coming. It's up and coming. Yeah. yeah. So we're really excited about that, and we're grateful that people are loving our teas and be able to enjoy it fresh. Now we have some places to reach you: Instagram, Facebook, and like that. Are people able to order online? And you yes, yes. I have all of my teas available online. I just released my pre-bagged tea variety, so you'll be able to buy our teas pre-bagged instead of having okay. to deal with a loose leaf. Loose leaf. We yeah. actually have it pre-bagged for you for on-the-go convenience. You professionals know how to do the loose leaf <laughs> stuff, and I struggle with that. So oh, it can be a little daunting yeah. to those who don't usually do that. Once but you do it a few times, you kind of yeah. get into it. I used to do it a lot, but I don't know. I lost my devices and stuff. So. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, we definitely offer the pre bag tea, so that helps for convenience. Now, tell us a little bit of the story. I said about COVID. Were you guys affected? How did you come through that? So we started our business in 2020. Um, it, I mean, it's still home based, um, but the thing is, we. Um, we're able to work from home and come and be like hosted by other like businesses and help the local community and um, kind of start locally. That's where we are based. You but know. you survive. We survive. And we're just trying. You know, yeah. we're trying to get bigger. Obviously, we want to eventually open a big tea house ourselves. That'd be nice. That is the goal. But and, yeah, um, a lot of the businesses when they struggled in 2020, you know, we were that was just our beginning, and we were able yeah. to from there pretty much start our business and work really hard and well thank goodness you guys didn't go and open a shop yeah you know exactly. that would have probably wiped you out in the and that's run. why we were really kind of taking a step back we want to start small you know do like farmer markets any kind of pop-ups any kind of events yeah tell me um, about that do you do some markets and uh in um, your fairs and stuff you know what you can follow, find all of the pop-ups that i do on my social medias on my instagram and facebook i advertise them um when i have pop-ups as of now i do not have any um none scheduled None scheduled except for uh, December 21st. We have a sip and shop at the Apothecary in Exeter. Okay. Um, and we do have an exclusive event by the Valley Emporium. They are hosting a goth tea party. I saw that. And so that'd be just another fun event you can find us at. I spent all this time loading up these uh, 
posters and stuff that I should run some of these. <laughs> I hope these are yours. Cause yes, they're... yes, those are all mine. So those I... are my new tea accessories that I now offer um, at the apothecary as well as online. If you see the goth one pop up, tell That's me. right there. That's the goth. That's okay. the goth tea party. Yes. And when it, that's the 17th the of December. The 17th of December, so next Saturday. And um, yeah. Oh, at the Valley Emporium. That's the Valley in Emporium Di in Dinuba. Dinuba. They can buy their tickets um, by calling that phone number or by going to the Valley Emporium.com. And that's where they can buy them in the shop. Okay. And this says what? So that is um, kind of our poster announcing um, that Tranquility Spawn Apothecary now hosts Soul Brood. Okay. Uh, we do offer free tea uh, tastings, and obviously we offer our tea leaf readings and parties. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you about that re reading yeah. in a minute because that's yeah. fascinating. I'm going to say the fascinating things. <laughs> Thank you. Those are our weekly hours for this week. We do release our hours weekly. Um, I put on my page on my Instagram and Facebook as well as the Tranquility's pages. I'm kind of looking for. Do you have anything on the event coming up at the apothecary? Yes, I do. I did submit. I just a... want to show some of these cool things. It's kind of sideways. Yeah, but that's... I'm trying to see where. Tea reading. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Yeah. Is this the apothecary? That's the yeah. That's the Tranquility Spa and Apothecary in Exeter. Okay. It's 136 North C Street in Exeter. If that you know, is the sip and shop. There's a sip and shop. Now, yes. I want to say this. What are you going to get people for Christmas? Another oh. necktie. Another china <laughs> bowl. Another little figurine for their shelf. Why not? What can they buy for Christmas at that? Uh, uh, event. Oh, well, we're going to have a lots of beautiful gift baskets for your fellow tea lovers. We're going to have our tea accessories with the full size bags, the small size bags of tea. We're going to have Christmas cookie platters available so you can forego the kitchen mess in your own yeah. kitchen and we have the platters available for purchase then. Um, we're going to have a lot of specials by our fellow um, team yeah, members. We want them to buy your stuff, but there'll be other things. There'll be a lot of different sales. Christmas, yes, uh, yes. Thing, a lot so. of Christmas uh, shopping. Something else I have to do every year. I get invited to Christmas party after oh. Christmas party. I always want to take a host gift. What are you going to take? Another bottle of cheap wine or something? How about picking up a little um, basket of a... We have a gift basket just for that. We and actually we offer different ones as well, too. Different sizes yeah. of different teas and our variety of our popular blends. Depending how much I like the host that I'm going to their party, <laughs> I might want a bigger basket or a smaller <laughs> basket. But yeah, exactly. Here's the details. Now, yeah. tell us when and where. So, it'll be December 21st from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, at Tranquility Spa and Apothecary. And um, there'll be light refreshments served. We'll have a tea tonic made by myself. I'll be nice. serving a nice, nice. tea tonic. Um, and we'll have some goodies and um, platters for you to purchase there as well. And the Christmas platters, we'll even offer them in vegan and nice. as well as the oh. keto. Well, gluten-free and, gluten and keto yeah, and nice. regular diet. Yeah. Now, do you ever go to people's houses? They want to have a big tea party? You know, I do. I have. I've actually um, recently had a tea leaf reading party at tea a... Tea leaf reading party. Okay, mm -hmm. let's just jump into that topic. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, so, tea leaf reading is a divination of fortune telling. Mm -hmm. That's very ancient, and it's recently come back into the forefront of popularity. Um, and it's basically, I can read your fortune reading your tea leaves. And I usually give you a four-month layout nice. of what to expect, and um, I can answer any questions that you may have. And it's kind of fun we do the tea leaf reading party because I bring the whole setup. You have the video setup of the tea um, tea party where I give you your tea sandwiches, scones, cookies. You get a whole menu to choose from, and then I choose and I take one person at a time to the side. I read your tea leaves. And then you can join your party and you can discuss your, your reading if you want, but it's, it's private. So in case you don't want to share everything that's divulged. Don't want everybody to know. You're, you're going to divorce <laughs> yeah, your husband kind of private, next month. So I don't want to be, you know, sharing your personal information without your, you know. People always want to have a different kind of party. And yeah. what can we do? Let's do some different costume party. I don't want any more costume parties. It's a lot of fun. How about a tea leaf party? You want ladies night out or girls to get yes. together? You don't want to go get drunk at a bar or something? No. Have a tea leaf mm -hmm. reading And it's getting party. really popular. Right? Do you it's bring the sandwiches? You bring the I bring tea. everything. The whole we, setup. we prep everything all up and we'll right. deliver it and decorate everything, set everything up. And you'd be mm -hmm. there reading the tea leaves. Yeah. What, yes. How about would they be able to purchase products? At that yes. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, I have products to purchase if they like. I usually gift my hostess quite a bit. Something, yeah. I give yeah. like everyone a little uh, bag of tea. And, and they can pick out one of our teas that we usually offer. We use one of our teas and so, yeah. you know, whatever flavor they like. Now, what do you have? Uh, so, tea leaf reading, you <laughs> somehow dump the leaves out or mm -hmm. something? So, it's a whole ceremony um, where we 
prepare our cup. You're putting your intentions into the cup. And I learned a new way of dumping the leaves yeah. without being so messy. Um, but we are able to do that, and I can read your leaves that are remaining in the cup and all that fun you stuff. You put your intentions into the cup. You I like do. that. Now, I asked you about this before, but mm -hmm. I go to uh, – I'm very healthy, by the way. Since COVID, I guess we haven't got a lot of germs, and I've not been sick in a couple of years, but I just get a bad cold, and I'd go to a, a local tea shop, and they say, oh, you need this and this and this. Do you have mm -hmm. those kind of different teas? I do. Yeah. If you want to come to my um, to the, the apothecary in Exeter, I can make a custom blend for you and for your own ailments and whatnots and just, you needs. Now, did the tea we buy, does it need to be fresh? Like, oh, you must use this in two weeks? No, my tea actually um, has a two-year expiration it's date. It's different um, than coffee. It's dried and mm -hmm. in a little... Yeah, a two-year shelf um, okay. life. So you might mm -hmm. as well have... How about teas to help us sleep? I have Sleepy Time. Nice. It is one of my favorite blends. I have chamomile and the herb thyme in there. Herb thyme. It's very good. And do you blend, mix these yourself? I do. Nice. Yes, yeah. And I a am. lot of them, some of them with the fruits, we have on our own dehydrator. And what we'll do with that, too, is we'll create the blends using it with the fresh fruit from local farmer markets as well, too. So. And again, dehydrated fruit. I mean, that's going to last forever. It yeah. does. I mean, you say a couple of years. But it's I <laughs> give it a two-year shelf life just, you know, yeah. to be on the safe side. Yeah. but. Well, we better go back to Exeter within two years and get some more tea anyway. <laughs> yes, of course. This is so exciting. You guys are doing Thank this you. and uh, it's successful. I mean, you've been here a couple yeah. times. Yes, and... we have something for you. Oh, good, good. Okay. Yes, little yes. Little yes. Okay. I like the gift. Yes. So right. last time we had brought some oh, cookies. Yeah. Now, this time we bought chai thumbprint cookies. Okay. A local jam maker, Jan's Jam, uh, Jan's is jam. making our chai tea into a jam. So that's and that will be available for sale. Well, this um, jam has chai tea in it. It's chai yeah. tea jam. And is that a, a apricot or something in there? I don't know. No, it's no, just no, chai tea, tea jam. It really looks like it's delicious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and here's another kind of cookie. And then another cookie. This one is the Tranquility Sugar Cookie. I'm going to, without making too much sound on the microphone. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so, so a, a specific cookie just for the spa. So if you are a customer that comes in and purchases from us, you get a free Tranquility mm -hmm. Sugar Cookie. But you shouldn't just eat the cookies. You should have a cookie and a cup and, of tea. Well, there's free tea samples too. Yeah. So might yeah, as well grab okay. a cookie and a, a cup of tea on your way out. But those are made with um, uh, rose petals mm -hmm. and orange um, that's emulsion. That's what good smell is. Huh? It's delicious. Yeah, the rose petals. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> I hate to say but. Well, I hope my mom's not watching. But her cookies never smell that good. Oh, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. Um, well, you have my recommendations. Christmas time. You don't know what to get people. Uh, are you, you're obligated to get people stuff. Get something cool like that. They will remember. That's the thing they'll always remember. Oh, remember that tea that they brought that year? And yeah. you got the host gift. So head down to the uh, Tranquility Spa. Us. Tranquility Spa and Apothecary in Exeter at 136 North C Street. And what's the big date for the event? Um, December 21st. Right. Don't forget our sip and shop. Sip and shop. We're going to have a lot of fun um, What day of the week is that, by the way? That, I believe, is a Wednesday. Okay. Uh, that, that's, yeah. yeah I think you're right. <laughs> Wednesday the 21st. Yeah. You don't have to only go on that date. Should they call if they're going to go down there? No. Like we day? have weekly hours. Just you can check up. on my Instagram or Facebook. Or we have yeah. weekly hours that you can come and see us. We put the hours up a minute there. Uh, ago, but go to the Facebook, go to the Instagram, anything else, a web page or something? I have my um, web page at www.soulbrew.com. Uh, uh, There's also a tranquility spa and apothecary.com as well. Okay. I will tell you guys a trick. I just earlier today typed Soul Brewed and I found all your social ah. media. So you don't have to oh, remember good. Instagram, Facebook, type Soul Brewed and then pick the social media that cool. you like the best. We're anything else? Good. Have we Google missed anything search. you want our viewers to know about? Just our Christmas platters coming up. Place your orders ahead of time. Christmas platters. Yes. Yeah. So if you can yes. have a Christmas party, for example. Yeah, if you're mm -hmm. having a party, please let us uh let us uh, post you on that. So yeah. the platters can include well a lot of things, whether you want vegan or, or uh, what do you call uh, uh, without gluten we have gluten free keto, keto. and regular diet um, and you get four types of cookies or desserts on there and you can find the menus for those on my social media pages as well on the social media mm -hmm. and, and the end date to pre-order your tray is December 21st okay do it by December 21st yeah. right, I want you guys to come again and again yes. I'm very Jeez. excited about yes. this business one of the other survivors after COVID you guys are still going thank and you for growing. having us every time yeah. you come you're going to have something new yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. that is a, a promise definitely yeah, yeah. I love that okay we'll be back with more Central Valley Talk 
right after this. <laughs> 